Hi guys, Giselle here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about green fresh fragrances that transition well from day to night. And I want to start this video with this beauty. This is Jean Fizz by the House of Louvain. Louvain has been around for years. It's been around since 1788. It's one of the most renowned French perfumery houses in the world. And everything they do, everything is a masterpiece, everything. But this, let me tell you, <laughs> this is unique. They have created this fragrance in 1955 as a tribute to Grace Kelly, because that was the year she won an Oscar for her role in the movie, The Country Girl. So the House of Louvain wanted to, wanted to, yeah, to make a tribute to, to Grace Kelly, as I said. And they created this perfume with the name of the most famous uh, and most fashionable cocktail at the time. The Gin Fizz was the most popular cocktail in all American bars in Paris. So they wanted to name this beauty with, uh, they, they wanted to choose a, a very trendy name for this beauty. And yeah, Gin Fizz was the name they picked for it. And let me tell you that when you sniff it, it is Gin Fizz. It's, it's a, so, so, it's amazing. It makes me thirsty when I drink, when I smell this. You can imagine, um, if you imagine like a, a glass of champagne, a very bubbly champagne, this is it. Or you can imagine, if you don't drink, you can imagine a cup of sparkling water, like a very ice cold sparkling water with lemon or lime wedges. This is it. This is what it will smell. Or like a mojito or something around those type of vibes. It's amazing. It's a super, super chic fragrance. Look at the bottle. It's super heavy. It's, it's stunning. It's very aquatic. It's, um, it's very fresh. It's very crisp. It's very clean, but it's not your fresh fragrance. Like right after the shower type of fragrance. It's not like that. It's, it's a very refined, very chic, very elegant fragrance. You can wear it for a wedding. For example, you can wear it for, for a date and it's office safe for sure. Longevity is not a beast, but you know what? With perfumes like this that are so unique and so special, I will mind making a decan and, you know, popping it in my purse and carrying it around and spraying, you know, during the whole day. I, I don't care. In perfumes like this, I don't, I don't care. Of course, I would have preferred to, prefer to have a longer, yeah, a better longevity. But if it's not just with a nice decan, I'm good to go. Stunning, stunning fragrance. Again, I'm gonna link the names down below, but this is Jean Fizz by Lugan. So the second one in this green, clean, fresh fragrances uh, video is L'Odyssey. This is an oldie, an oldie but goodie. I always say I never repeat fragrances. It's very, very rare that I repurchase a fragrance, but this is one of those that I always keep repurchasing it. There's something to it that it, it is so addictive. This is a love or hate. Many people hate it. Many people love it. Many people that used to hate it like 20 years ago, because this baby has been around since the nineties. People that hate it back then love it now and vice versa. So it's, you, you def, this is not a, a blind buy for sure, but it's a stunning fragrance. It's a massive compliment getter, especially from men. It's a classic from the nineties. As I said, it's very, it's an aquatic floral, but again, this is, it's, it's hard to describe. Let me tell you, this is one of those typical cologne fragrances. I don't know if you know what cologne is, but cologne is a molecule that it's, it's an artificial molecule created to evoke the smell of a watermelon, a very juicy watermelon. And there were very famous, Cologne was very famous. It was a molecule that has been discovered by accident. The chemist of us, I don't, I can't say, I think I can say, so just in case, I don't know if I, I don't want to break any YouTube terms, so I'm not gonna name companies or anything. But uh, it is said that the chemist of a very famous lab were working on a very famous medicine and accidentally they discover the Cologne. And ever since they have been using this in perfumery and in the nineties was the, the decade that it was most 
utilized in perfumery. And L'Odyssey was like one of these fragrances that were the was were in the cologne. Um, Davidoff Cool Water was one of that from Men and Woman. Escape by Calvin Klein. Um, Nuda Veritas by Atelier des Ors is also one of the typical fragrances that has cologne in, in the composition. There are quite a few, especially in the 90s. So this is like a watermelon type of fragrance, but it's not like a teenager type, if you know what I mean. It's very fresh. It's very clean. It's very crispy. Oh, I love it. This is, I can wear this for a wedding on the beach. It's also office safe. If you don't overspray, I tend to overspray. So for me, it won't be office safe <laughs> because it's, it's bold but it's a it's an amazing fragrance it's an amazing fragrance it's as i said it's very crisp very clean it's very soapy as well it, it smells clean i don't have any other word to describe it and you know what you will laugh but i i try this during the day during the night for many years and i tell you if you wear this during the night it smells different than during the day if you have a chance try it and, and you know what i'm talking you will know what i'm talking about so again, this this has the same vibe as Anayaki. I don't know if you watch my previous video where I talk about a very famous Japanese brand, but it's a very underrated fragrance. It's called Anayaki Pur L, and this has the very same vibes. It's green, it's clean, it's, it has white flowers, but the aquatic type of flowers, like lotus, lily, not your gardenia or tube rose, if it makes sense. But it's a stunning fragrance. Don't forget to try this because you will love it. And I have another flanker of L'Odyssey. And this time is this one. It's beautiful. It's a rose gold. Supposedly, this is like, um, like a nectar drop. A nectar from the flowers drop. This is what this tries to evoke. And it's, it's a rose gold bottle it's it's very very beautiful it's called this is l'odyssey also by semiyaki but this is called pure nectar de parfum nectar is like syrup and it, it, it's a stunning fragrance it's very very similar to the the traditional l'odyssey but this one has some honey to it and i think that's where i can get that addictive thing that i can't tell what it is oh god it's also very aquatic. Hey, they are like 20 years apart. The other one, the original one, it's from the 90s. This has been launched in 2018. So it's like almost two decades apart. But this is stunning. It's, you can smell pear here, pear and honey. And that combo, it's like, wow. It's, it's very, 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 hmm, let me spray. It's very, it's very addictive. It's, it has some rose to it. It's floral. It's super elegant. This is super elegant. Again, you can wear it for a wedding, uh, a wedding during the day, a wedding during the night. It is office safe. I would say this is safer than this one, than the original one. This is more flowery. This is more aquatic. But it's hard to tell which is better if you ask me. If I had to pick one, I would pick this one. This is very, very uh, different, I would say. It's a it's a simple fragrance. It's linear. It won't change. Neither does the other one. Oops. It won't change. It's very linear. It's simple, but stunning. This, if you have the chance, if you have the opportunity, please try this one. You know what? If you subscribe to my channel, and you're interested to try this one, the first person who sends me an email, I'll give you, I'll give a, a free decan, a 2 ml decan in a nice glass decanter. Um, because I think it's definitely worth trying this. Nobody heard about this. I don't know why there are so many beautiful fragrances out there. Nobody talks about, everybody talks about the same thing. I don't know. Well, anyway. But this, again, this is L'Odyssey Pure Nectar de Parfum. And the last one, last but not least, this is Valentino Donna Rosa Verde. This is um, 
Valentino has a, uh, a collection called Donna. I think they have like three. It's like the original Donna, which was very leathery. Then they launch, I think, Donna Light or Donna Aqua or both, <laughs> probably. And um, now they have uh, Born in Roma and this one. But this is by far my favorite. This is stunning. This is something I will repurchase. This is at 3.3 ounces and I will definitely repurchase this bottle. Rosa Verde means uh, green rose in Italian and in Spanish. And it has green rose in the composition. It's citrusy. It's floral. Let me, let me spray, let me spray some here. It's fresh, it's very lemony, but it's not, it's hard to tell because it's lemony, but it's not your typical citrus fragrance. It's very clean, it's very clean, it's very fizzy, very sparkly, but although it is fizzy, I, there's no aldehydes here, at least I can pick anything, because usually the aldehydes, it are what it's what makes the fragrance like more uh, f bubbly or sparkling or fizzy like gin fizz is, has aldehydes but some for some people aldehydes have like a bad rap because they think that perfumes containing aldehydes seems like your grandmother type of fragrance or like something very dated and it's not actually the aldehydes make a perfume smell more yeah like sparkly bubbly like a glass of champagne so this is very sparkly, bubbly, and fizzy without the aldehydes. It has ginger as well. I can, I can smell the ginger, but it's very, very subtle. It's like spicy, but very, very, yeah, very subtle. Rose is prominent, but you will smell a different type of rose. You will say, hey, this is rose, but it's not my typical rose. Well, it's not, it's green rose. It's a very different fragrance. This is very different from anything I have smelled around, me personally. Um, I definitely recommend this. This can also transition well from day to night. You can wear this to the office. You can go straight to dinner with your girlfriends. You can go to a date. You can wear this to a wedding in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's, it's a stunning fragrance. Please try this. It's you won't regret. Valentino Donna Rosa Verde. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button so you won't miss any of my videos. And again, if you want to try this one, I will be more than happy to send you a decan. But please send me an email because I will send a decan to the first person who shoots me an email. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.